Scarlett, say hello. Hello. Scarlett, let me ask you a question. Have you ever drank milk? Yes. Ew! Do you know that you're drinking plastic? Well, you're right about that. You're not exactly drinking plastic, but you are drinking protein. Have you ever heard of protein? Yes. Protein is something that can be used to make plastic, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make plastic out of protein found in everyday household milk. Are you ready? Yes. Awesome. For this project, you're going to need a half a cup of milk. You're going to need two teaspoons of white distilled vinegar. You'll need a clear mason jar or just jar, a spoon, a spatula, some measuring devices, but they are optional, as well as a pot and a stove. Are you ready? Yeah. Me too. Let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to do is pour your half a cup of milk and one teaspoon of white soap vinegar into a pot. Now have an adult stir that pot over medium low heat for a few minutes. Make sure you are being very mindful of kitchen and fire safety. Uh, the milk in this project can bubble over really suddenly and get into the fire, and that's dangerous. Now, the milk is gonna boil really quickly and then simmer down into chunky little lumps. These are curdles. Jeez. Now take the pot off of the stove and pour off the excess liquid. This liquid is called whey. Now use a spoon to put the curdles into a jar. Then pour vinegar over the curdles and let that sit for about an hour. See how the milk is already reacting with the vinegar? Now pour off the excess vinegar and put that white blob into your hand and mush and squeeze it around. This is coagulated casein, protein. Now, once this blob dries, it's 100% biodegradable plastic. Do a quick Google search for biodegradable plastics to find out what other foods are being used to make earth-friendly plastic. Last season on Crazy Aunt Lindsay, we did a whole episode about how milk is made up of fat and protein. Then we used a physics exercise to separate the fat from the protein and make butter. In this experiment, we're going to use a chemical reaction to talk about the two proteins that are made up in milk, globular and casein protein. 80% of the proteins found in milk are called casein proteins. Now, these are super strong little things that like to stick to something, especially themselves. In this project, when the acid and heat is introduced into the solution, the casein protein gets all tangled up onto itself or coagulates forming a solid substance called curdles. The remaining protein are globular proteins, and these are round little things that like to hang out or float in water, forming a colloid. After the chemical reaction, the globular protein is left behind to hang out with the fat, forming a liquidy substance. This substance is called whey, and this is where the lactose lives. Athletes drink whey to help prepare their muscles after serious workouts because muscle tissue is also made out of protein. Pet manufacturers even put it in your pet's food because the protein helps make sure Fido's muscles stay nice and healthy while the fat content of whey keeps the fur nice and shiny. Oh yeah. There's the science. Now let's make it fabulous. So your homemade plastic can be molded into absolutely anything. It's amazing. Um, we here in the Fab Lab are going to take our plastic to the next level by making tic-tac-toe pieces for our tic-tac-toe game. Are you excited? Yeah. Awesome. Um, you can also use this plastic, plastic to make things like paperweights and desk art for your parents or masks. Masks for your friends. So for this portion, you're going to need some glue, glitter, brushes and I think that's about it. Now we're going to paint our tic-tac-toe pieces and it's going to be fabulous. While your case is still moist, it can be molded into absolutely anything. We're using a uh, heart and star mold trays and painting them.
quiz, or at least that you've been paying attention. Uh, so the first question, everybody, what are the two types of proteins found in milk? For extra credit, go find out what the chemical name for white still vinegar is, hint, hint, and then leave a comment below with the answer. What other episode can you find today's Bad Lab Professor Scarlet in? is it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, as always, I am on Twitter slash Aunt Lindsay. I'm also on Pinterest at Aunt Lindsay. And as always, I'm on Facebook slash Crazy Aunt Lindsay. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. This is Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and we made milk plastic today. Bye!